911 call Monday afternoon in Polk County setting off a chain of events that would culminate in the deaths of four people. Listen closely as a caller describes seeing a woman being beaten and kidnapped. Somebody has been beating her up and everything. And if I do not stop them, I believe he's going to kill her. I am dead serious. That frantic call would send investigators looking for a black Mazda. It was being driven by this guy, 35-year-old Raquel May Villar Villalona, who had allegedly been assaulting his girlfriend. Once deputies found his car, the sheriff says he took off, at times driving on the wrong side of the road. So the deputy wisely turns off his lights and disengages the pursuit. He continues to drive southbound behind the vehicle as it flees from the attempted traffic stop. But he does not engage the vehicle. He does not keep up with the vehicle. But he's going in that direction. The sheriff says this camera footage shows just how far behind the deputy followed the Mazda. He says after several miles, Villa Lona would go on to cause a chain reaction crash that the sheriff describes like this. It was total carnage. It's among the worst traffic fatalities we've seen in this county. Along with the black Mazda, three additional vehicles, a Ford F-150, a Ford Escape, and a Toyota Tacoma were caught up in it, resulting in the deaths of a 38-year-old man and 73-year-old woman who both died on scene. A 48-year-old man later died at the hospital. Their identities are not being made public. Villa Lona died on scene as well. With his crazy, wild, out-of-control actions because... He wanted to beat and injure his girlfriend, did not want to stop when the deputies tried to stop him. Now the sheriff says had he survived the crash, he would have been facing multiple felony charges, including three counts of vehicular homicide. We can also report tonight the, uh, the driver's girlfriend was not in the car when the crash happened. She was at a local hospital. She is said to be doing okay. She, however, is not cooperating with the investigation, according to the sheriff. Linda, back to you. So sad for the families of all those innocent victims. Yeah. Thanks, Josh.